Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Romelda, and today I will be preparing for you something that is sweet. Ooh, delicious. Banana pudding. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready to begin. I have seven ripe, soft, dripping bananas. These are when you're going to get ready to throw them out. They are harboring fruit flies. So I'm making banana pudding, Bahamian style, today. So I'm just going to get them all peeled up. And ready for the smashing. All seven. Okay. These are large. I'm not wasting my bananas. I'm making something today from these. Okay. These are soft and super sweet. All right. Six down. Okay, just like that. This is the last one. I'm not throwing these out. I'm going to smash these up. If you don't have one of these, apparatus you can just use a, the bottom of a cup or a glass or even a fork just want to work it just mash them smash them fish out this piece of skin it fell in okay that's out now let's go now it's time for the sugar this scoop holds one third of a cup, so I'm, I'll be using three of these. One cup of sugar, one third plus one third plus one third math 101. When the denominators are the same, you add the numerators, write them over the denominator. They're the same. Three over three, three thirds equals one full cup. So get this mixed up. One cup of sugar. Okay, that's, this is just the bananas and the sugar. Seven bananas. Now, even though I have three eggs here, I'm only going to use two. I only need two. These are room temperature. Two large eggs. So only two I will be using. Put this one back. Now, mix all of this together. This is the sugar, banana, and two eggs. Next is three quarters of a stick of butter. This is Lander Lake, Lakes butter. Now whatever type of butter you have, you can use. Or even margarine. Whatever you have, use it. Don't hurt your head. This is simple. Banana pudding. Next is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, just a little bit of salt. Now I'm not making hotel banana pudding. Even though I'm bringing the restaurant home, this is not the hotel style. This is gonna be firm and stiff. This is the Bahamian way, Bahamian style banana pudding. Firm, stiff. You can hold it in your hand. A half a cup of carnation evaporated milk. Feel free to use the milk right out of the refrigerator. But make sure it's room temperature. One half of a cup. Get this all mixed up. Wow, rated milk. All right. Next is the vanilla flavor. Just one tablespoon of that. Good large squirt of this. You have ripe bananas, don't throw them out. Make something with them. Make some pancakes. Make a banana bread. 
or even a banana pudding. Bring the restaurant home. Now you can have this just as a snack with some milk or maybe with a soft drink or with some ice cream. Or even with some whipped cream now it's time for the flour two cups but I'm gonna be adding them one at a time mix then add mix then add all right just like that Now the amount now the amount of flour depends on the texture so if you want a soft super soft pudding use less flour I want mine firm I like my own to be firm so I'm gonna use two and a half cups of flour that's two cups let's see how this turns out And it also depends on the amount of bananas that you use. Banana has liquid as well. So, and then you're adding milk. So it's up to you. So I have to add one half of a cup now because it's still too loose for me. I like it a little bit stiffer. The butter, stiff butter gives you a firm pudding. Loose butter gives you a loose pudding. It's up to you. Love it stiff. This is not a hotel. Even though I'm bringing the restaurant home, this restaurant is going to be serving it stiff, firm. You can hold it in your hand. It wouldn't fall off the fork. Nope. I'm adding a, another half of a cup of flour just to bring it home. All right, that's it. Measurements are important for this. So I would suggest you follow the measurements. like that give it a good mixing about a minute and I can put it into the pan let it do its thing in the oven now the oven is already preheated 350 degrees this is going to go on the top rack for about 35 to 45 minutes. All right, that's a sign. It's ready. Add some palm to the pan. All right, now the mixture. Get that in. All set. Every bit of it, all that goodness. This is Bahamian banana pudding. Don't throw your white bananas away. Make something with them. You have to um, use money to get them, so. Make every dime, every penny count. All of that goodness up, every bit. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Into the oven, 350, 350 degrees. That's it, that's after 35 to 45 minutes. 
Okay, here you go. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. Feel free to share me out. Try some today. God bless you and I will see you in the next one.